Hi, I'm Chef Jim with Coastal Alabama College, and today I will teach you about sanitizers, heat sanitizers and chemical sanitizers. Okay, so let's start first with some definitions. Clean, sanitize, sterilize. So what is clean? Clean is the removal of surface dirt. So it's just the elimination. Sanitize, the removal of harmful microorganisms. Two safe levels. And I put the final one down. It's not in your book. It's the removal of 99.9% of harmful microorganisms. Pretty cool. All right, I say sterilize. Ideally, you know, in the industry, sterilizing would be the way to go because if you, know, if you went to the doctor, do you want them to clean the tools they're gonna to operate with you, sanitize them, or sterilize them? I'm hoping they're gonna sterilize if they're going to cut and operate on me. But it's really hard in the industry to take like an eight foot stainless steel bench and boil that in water and sterilize it. You know, very tough to do that. So in the industry, we're gonna be sanitizing. All right, so we're gonna remove harmful microorganisms to safe levels through sanitation. And there are different ways of doing that. Okay, so let's move on. First, we can do it through heat. And then we can do it through chemical. So there are two different ways, heat and chemical. All right, with heat in the book, this is probably one of the difficult things is why don't they just go at one temperature? They actually have three different temperatures. So the first one is a single tank dish machine. And then they have a three bay sink for washing pots and pans. And then we have a commercial dish machine. Okay, so the first one's a single tank. And I guess what you're gonna learn about this is ideally what you're gonna need to do if you're gonna put something in a single tack machine, you've gotta get it to 165 degrees to kill what? Your chicken, your bacteria. And with a single tank, because it's enclosed, we just go to go to 165. For a three bay sink, you're gonna to go to 171. And for a commercial machine, 180. Now, why are they different? Well, the plate has to reach 165. So when I'm putting a plate in here, at 165 within that single tank machine, it will reach 165. If I put in a three bay sink at 171, the plate will reach 165 in a three bay sink. Now, not many people actually sanitize in a three bay sink. That means that in the third bay, you have a heating element and you're gonna heat the water to 171 and you probably have some apparatus that's gonna take your dishes out of it. Commercial machine, they're usually large, and they may have a conveyor belt going through here, and they're open on this side and open on that side, so there's airflow going through it. All right, so in order for the dish to reach 165, your commercial machine has to be all the way 180. 
that's the main difference and that's what in the book that's what's very confusing a lot of students is why do I need three different temperatures so just remember this single tank 165 three bay 171 commercial machines or just machines 180 all right once you've got the heat down let's go to chemical sanitizers and you pretty much have three different chemicals chlorine iodine and quats all right chlorine pretty much always stands that's bleach but here's what you need to know not all bleach is a sanitizer some bleaches are just meant to whiten your laundry if you'll notice when they talk about Clorox not only is it does it whiten the laundry and keeps your clothes white but it also is a sanitizer so not all bleachers are sanitizers so make sure you get one that says so on the label make sure you don't get anything that has any floral like uh, that scented bleach just like lemon or floral scent to it you want just bleach okay concentrations from 50 pots per million to 99 pots per million so if you had a cup of water and you put one cap full of bleach one cap full of bleach to a cup you'd have the right concentration all right and again um, the length of time for chlorine is seven seconds iodine it's going to be 12.5 to 25 pots per million and it needs to be in the in the solution for 30 seconds okay quats so what is quats quats is an ammonia it's an ammonia based cleaner it's actually the preferred one to use in the industry uh, with quats they really don't give you a concentration of book but from what i know it's about 200 to 240 pots per million and you need to let it sit in there for 30 seconds now here's what else you need to know See this right here? This is what we're doing on cleaning. So we're gonna pre-scrape, wash, rinse, sanitize, air dry. This is gonna be 110 degrees. This is gonna be 110 degrees. And this is gonna be very low. It's gonna use the cold water only. So it's gonna be down there about 68 to about 75 degrees for most sanitizers, okay? Now there are two things that will kill a sanitizer. There's a reason why this is a rinse cycle. If the detergent comes in contact with the sanitizer, it will kill it. So that's why there's a rinse cycle and that's why you need to keep the rinse cycle clean. If your water gets above 100 degrees, it will kill the sanitizer. So we run hot water, hot water, cold water with a sanitizer. And that's the proper setup of a three bay sink. So this is your cleaning, this is your sanitizing. And of course we do air, air, air drying. We never use cloths to dry our dishes. We let them air dry and put them up. So that's a little bit about sanitizers, about heat sanitizers and chemical sanitizers.